Well, hello everybody. Uh, today we're cleaning the pig pens, so we're adding cow dung uh, to the piles here, one of the piles, and I'll show you kind of how I do it here, and everybody has their own way of doing it. Uh, we've already built up uh, a compost row here with uh, the grass that we've been cutting, and all the dried leaves and everything like that. Doro just dumps a pile of the cow dung here, and this is with the rice hulls that we spread in the pens. And I will spread it out here. Hi, <laughs> Yeah, I spread it out kind of evenly along the top of the row. We spread the row out a little bit and that. And once I've got it spread out, I've already got a wheelbarrow of some cut greens and grass and that from uh, our cleaning the road down there. <clears throat> so I will add that to it. Yeah, we'll bring a wheelbarrow up. And I'll add this combination of cut grass, everything from up by the road there. And pile it up pretty good on top of the pig dung and this is kind of what I mean by being able to cut it up with our grass cutter it's about as fine as we can get it without really going through some type of a shredder of that and I found out this works really good for us So you kind of get an idea here of how I do the, the compost piles. It hasn't rained now for the last, oh, probably four days or so. So I'll leave the piles sit, let that uh, pig dung kind of work in there and that. If we get a heavy rain, I'll kind of look at it then and uh, especially if it's been uh, a week or so, and then I'll probably turn it in order to mix it up because there will no doubt be some dry stuff on the sides here because this dries out in the sun real fast <clears throat> and with the wet stuff in the middle and that and I kind of want to mix that all together so that the compost pile starts really working here and uh, getting warm <clears throat> I'm going to move the camera back here a little bit. I've got another pile here that uh, Doro just brought up. So again, I'll spread that out.
And once I spread that out now, I'll go back and get another pile of the cut grass and put a nice layer on top of it and leave it sit. The sun is out today, as it has been the last three, four days. And when that sun finally hits these piles, it will really start cooking. And that, and that action is what I'm looking for in order to break down the leaves and grass into the compost that I desire. So thank you much for viewing this video. Uh, like and subscribe. We appreciate all you viewers out there. And uh, if there's some information that I've given that is helpful, you know, all the better. Uh, I want people to hear, and especially in the Philippines and even back home, to be able to start doing these simple things in order to grow some of their own vegetables and that instead of the 100% reliance on the rice that they grow and eat here. So we'll say goodbye for now.